tried to get into this room, and now we can't get the fuck out. <laughs> I feel like I've been here before. We have. All of us have. So many times, and we didn't know it. <sighs> I feel a bit clearer now. This room is like the heart of the house. No, not a heart, a stomach. Hmm. It was your dance studio, Theo. It was my toy room. Really? It was a reading room for Mom. The game room for Steve. Tree house. Family room for Shirley. Tree house. How did I never notice that? The window in the background and shit. You have to live. <laughs> I don't know how to do this without you. I learned a secret. There's no without. I am not gone. I'm scattered into so many pieces. Sprinkled on your life. Like there's so much I want to say to you all. I'm so sorry our last words were in anger. They weren't our last. I'm sorry that I didn't answer the phone. So many times. I'm sorry if I didn't listen and I'm sorry if wouldn't have changed anything. I need you to know that. I loved you completely. And you loved me the same. And that's all. The rest is confetti. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. This is our forever house. It always was. Nothing bad will ever touch them ever again. Nothing good will either. Yeah. I know you love the people in that room more than anything. I won't let you take them away again. They'll die. If they will die if they stay. They're dying now. Our babies are dying. Let them go. I'll be alone again. If it wasn't for the kids in that room, I would have laid down with you. I would have followed you. But those kids in that room, if you open that door right now, I will make a promise to you that I will keep forever. Is he gonna join her now? He's gonna join her, ready? Stay awake. Stay awake. Start the car. Deep breathing. Yeah. Come on. I bet his body's right there. Better. Okay. So this is when he went back. He took the kids away and he's come back. Why are you even here? We need to get you help. We need to get the police. Why are you here? Our, our daughter snuck out of her bed tonight and we thought maybe. Abigail. No. No, no, yeah. no. Fuck, man. I knew it. We kept her out of the world to keep her safe. And we're the only ones who would even know to... to mourn her. We won't say anything about Olivia. I won't. That wasn't her. We know that. No, we know what really happened here tonight. And your kids. They don't need to hear anything else. Or remember wow. their mother in any way but the way that she truly was. And we can protect that for you. If. If what? 
If you keep this house, keep us on. Keep everyone else away. Don't let it take anyone else. Never again. That's why he said to the lawyer, like, just close it up. I wish you would have told me. You didn't tell your sisters what you saw. Why not? Some things can't be told. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry, Dad. This is all yours now. The house. And the promise. I want you to know you and your sisters and your brother were the best part of my my never been prouder of anything anything ever that and be kind to each other and nothing else be kind I was so lucky to be your dad. Oh, fuck it out. Just see him all now. A marriage can be like a house. A marriage can be haunted. And I let that happen to us. And I'm... I have something I, I have to tell you. Fair. But I need you to remember while I do that I love you. My best friend. And I'm asking you to love me. Hard for the next few minutes and it, it might be the hardest that you've ever had to love me but I know it'll be okay because it's us she's got to complain of it I wish I'd been a better son I wish I'd been a better brother what are you saying Steve walls that never work that way what about these oh trash I will go I will stay I think the truck's full. Is that everything? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> That's cool, man. My only wish is to come home. This house Please. Quiet talker. She creaks and moans. And the photograph. As I burn her down. Fear is the relinquishment of logic. The willing relinquishing of reasonable patterns. If you ask me to. No. We're here. We're here. Let my anger take me there. But so it seems. Is oh, wow. Man, the shaking. The back doors burn. Wow. <laughs> One last time, eh? <laughs> We fight it, but we cannot meet it halfway. She's pregnant. Hill House, not sane, stands against its hills holding darkness within. It has stood so for a hundred years and might stand a hundred more. Within, walls continue upright, bricks meet neatly, floors are firm, and doors are sensibly shut. Silence lay steadily against the wood and stone of Hill House. And those who walk there walk together. 
Wow. What a fucking show, man. <laughs> uh, okay, so I've I've had to take like a few minutes to kind of just compose myself because shit. Like just very quick, um, the scene where um, Stephen was talking to his dad and his dad walks into the red room and everything, that hit me really hard because, like, in, in case you don't know, my own father passed away not that long ago. And um, not to go into too much detail, but we never really got on too well. Um, he used to drink a lot. And, um, and whenever he got really drunk and angry over fucking anything, I was always the one who... Um, for some reason, I was always the one that, that caught the smack, you know. Yeah, me, me and him never really had a good relationship. He basically had a couple of uh, strokes and he became kind of housebound for like the last couple of years of his life. And he had to quit drinking and, and everything. And in the last few years of, of his life, he, um, let's just say I was more or less like his carer. You know, I, I had to help him into the bathroom. I had to help bathe him. I cooked his food, just everything. And by this point, my mother had also passed away. So it was just me and him in the house. And then he went into hospital because he had a fall and busted up his knee and his hip. And that's where he stayed. Spent maybe two, three months in hospital. He just started to wither away and, um, and he died. Um, strangely, like, he died on March the 2nd, and my mum died on March the 5th, like, three years earlier. So, it was, like, kind of weird. Um, it was almost like he was trying to hold out and wait. I don't know. Um, and one of the last times I spoke to him, um, was probably, like, two days before he died. And, um, it was a bit like that conversation. Because like I said, like me and him never really had a good relationship. Always used to argue. and So that dialogue just kind of um, cut a bit deep, you know. <sighs> That's why I, I love this show so much. Is because it's so, it's so kind of relatable, you know what I mean? But yeah, um, oh, fucking hell. <clears throat> <laughs> Feels, man. Yeah, the fucking characters, man, are so good. So good, and I think the fact that there's five of them, so no matter who you are as, as a viewer, there's bound to be one of them that you can relate to. But I can kind of understand why like a lot of people don't seem to like Steven and Shirley. Like Shirley for me, I'm, I'm not a big fan of her, but saying that I can understand why she is the way she is. You know what I mean? Um, I get it, and I, I like how Coming to the end of the story, each character has kind of evolved throughout the course of the show. You know what I mean? Especially like Shirley, like having to come clean to her husband. Hopefully, it, it's going to kind of ground her because she's always kind of been like she's up here. She she knows best. She's kind of like a bit arrogant and stuck up. But hopefully now she'll kind of come down, be more grounded. Stephen, I think Stephen is probably the the only one who's gone through the biggest change. You know, going from this always kind of angry guy who, who just don't believe it i mean he's always said that it's an illness you know it's a mental condition the family's crazy but now he sees now now he he literally sees the truth <laughs> <laughs> he's a believer now you know yeah i think steven is the one who's evolved the most as a character theo's changed like she's took off the gloves now she's in a relationship it looks like she's moving out like probably into her own place, they're moving in together, you know, because she's always been very distant, she's kept her guard up. It's It's been referred to many, many times about how she doesn't let people in, and, and she likes to kind of keep her distance, obviously, because it's like, as soon as you get too close, she can feel your feelings, and you know, um, but it looks like she's either, either she's embracing it, she's happy with it, or she can't feel anything anymore. I don't know, 
No, I think she's just embracing it. I, I think she's willing to be more open and, you know, let people in. Luke, Luke staying clean for two years. <laughs> so good, man. So good. Like, Theo is my favourite character. Like, just hands down, favourite character. Like, I've said this before, I, I think she's probably the most grounded, the most level-headed one out of the whole bunch. And I think that's because... She is a middle child, like myself. <laughs> and like, I've, I've kind of said this before, but like, like being a middle child, you kind of have the best of both worlds in a way. You know, you have uh, the, the ability of being the adult. Like when it comes to the crunch, you can get in there, get the business done, sort out what needs to be sorted and, and be the mature adult and get shit done. But then on the other hand, you can be a big kid if you wanted, you know what I mean? And, and we saw it in um, episode two when she was throwing the peas over her shoulder with her knees, you know what I mean? Like, I personally think, just from my own kind of thing, being a, a middle child, you, you can switch. You can be the adult, you can be the kid, you know, very easily. And that, of course, makes you more grounded, if you will. Like, the younger ones now, and, and Luke, they're the most vulnerable, they're, they're clearly the like the most damaged. And then of course, like Shirley and Steven, they're they're just complete adults. They've got no time to play games or or, or play around. Like they gotta think about business, they gotta think about bills, this, that, da da da. Like take care of business, do what needs to be done, type of thing. Theo, man, Theo's my girl, man. <laughs> I really do genuinely love Theo. But Luke, man, Luke really does come like a very close second to me. Well, like, I, I just want to protect that kid. I really... <laughs> like, the child actor could be probably the most cutest thing in the whole entire fucking show. I mean, seriously, with those glasses on, like, man, the elevator scene. Every time I watch, like, someone else's reaction videos, that just gets me every time. But not even, like, when he goes down into the thing and, and, and he sees the ghost or whatever... But just the dialogue between him and Theo, when he's trying to convince her to like press the button and everything, and he's all like, please, please, please. And she goes, okay, just once. And the kid goes, okay. And he's like, oh my God, man. <laughs> just the way he says the line. It, oh my God, it hits you in the feels, man. So I, I just want to wrap you up and look after you. <laughs> but then to see that, that character as an adult, and being a junkie and, and everything. Oh my God, it was so hard to watch, man. So hard to watch. But now two years clean. So glad he didn't die, man. I, I, I was not over like exaggerating or anything. I was literally gonna turn it off. I thought, fuck it. I don't care how this show ends. I am done. <laughs> I am done. As soon as I saw him, like, sit up in the, the fucking white room and shit, I was like, okay, what's going on? This close, man. <laughs> this fucking close. And then there's now. Like, now has uh, evolved as well and she's changed. Um, I mean, now is just a, just a tragic story, man. Like, she, she, she was being haunted by her own death pretty much her whole entire life. She finally found happiness. She got married and then he died. And the way that she evolved was to find peace in death. I know it's a weird way of kind of looking at a character's like evolution and, and see, see how they change at the end of a story, but she now has peace. She's not in any more pain or anything. She's at peace now. And I guess because like she's always going to be at the house, you could go back there whenever you want to see her. If like... Just like the uh, caretaker family. I keep forgetting their name. I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting the name. Was it Dudley? Oh, but that that was like one final wrench on the heart, man. Right at the end. So, like, I didn't get it at first until he, he kind of carried her in. And then it just hit on me. Like, oh, wow. No way. So now she's like with her two kids. And, oh, man. Yeah, it was like one last final twist of the heart. <laughs> oh my God. Hmm. Okay, I'm going through the episodes trying to find like probably my favorite episode, but oh, there's so many good ones. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna have to just like break this up. First off, just from a technical standpoint, the way that it was filmed, the, the, the acting, the directing, everything, of course, is gonna have to be episode six, Two Storms. Just filmed as if it was like a live show. You know what I mean? No cuts, just go. Amazing episode, man. Absolutely amazing. But then as far as like just great storytelling and just the sheer of like kicking the balls of a plot twist, it's gonna have to be episode five, man. Bet neck lady. I'm not gonna lie, like that stuck with me for a while. It really did. It really did stick with me for a long time. But I think out of them all, my favorite episode is gonna be episode three. Touch. Just Theo just <laughs> Like I said, I love Theo. Shit, that's my girl right there, man. I absolutely love that fucking hell, man. I absolutely love that character. I really, really do. Like, of course, like a big part of it is is the way that the character's portrayed and everything. And the actress is uh, Kate, right? It's Mike, Mike Flanagan's wife, right? She's fucking done a tremendous job, man. Absolutely tremendous. I know that she's... Um, She's in a movie called Hush. What well, actually, I saw the uh, trailer for it a long time ago thinking that actually looks like a pretty cool movie. But now that I know that it's like these people, Mike Flanagan and that, like I'm, I might actually have to, I might do a reaction for that. How does that sound? Next week, next week, instead of like a haunting of Hill House, I'll pull up a reaction to uh, Hush. How does that sound? Yeah, there'll be a edited version here on YouTube. I'll put the full length up on, onto my Patreon. And um, there's also another one um, that I've been told to watch uh, with a Ouija board or something. Um, with the actress who plays um, Shirley, like she's like the lead of this, this Ouija board one. I might do a reaction to that as well, but there'll be no edited down version. That, that one will just be full length up on my Patreon around the start of next year. Because I think by the time you watch this, will be, is it gonna be after Christmas this goes up? I think so, if I planned it right. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, next week will be my reaction to the movie Hush, okay? Oh, man, what a show, what a show. I am so interested in watching more of Mike Flanagan's work. I really am. And also, I'm really intrigued to see what he's got coming next. Cause like, okay, it says season one. Are we going to get a season two? And if so, how are they going to do it? Is, is it like a new family moves into the house? Maybe Stephen has no other choice but to set it on or something like... Because if not, why does it have like season one? Why isn't it just billed as like a 10 episode like one-off thing? If you see what I mean, I'm perfectly happy just with these 10 episodes, man. I'm I'm definitely gonna be re-watching this show. But yeah, I think the re-watch might be really hard to do. <laughs> Cause it's like, you know what's gonna happen now, so. But yeah, hands down, probably one of the best things I've seen all year, man. It's like a, a little self-contained story. Perfect, absolutely perfect. I'm glad that, that he didn't like end with like a bit of a cliffhanger or or, 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 or like some kind of like thing at the end to kind of make you think, oh, there's a season two, you know? It just self-contained, go. Hell yeah, man. All right, give this video a thumb up if you like it. Comment down below, let me know what you think and subscribe if you haven't already, man, all right? I've been Sif Urian. I'll catch you in the next one, man.